Hello there. Welcome to the channel. This is Nerd World, and in this video, today I am looking at different Terran torture techniques of the Mirror Universe. If you're new to this channel, I have a full playlist of videos dedicated to the Terran Empire, as well as a couple of other playlists dedicated to Star Trek in general. If you like what you see, if you like what you hear, if you like this channel in general, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. It all helps the channel. It's a very small channel. I'm still trying to grow it. So any help you can give would be appreciated. With that said, I'm going to get started. First of all, there's the good old-fashioned beating. Terrans were not above a good spot of violence. Physicality was kind of one of their things, and as discussed between Captain Forrest and Commander Archer of the ISS Enterprise NX-01, the kind of as they saw the progress with coming with the um, modern torture technologies and interrogation systems, which are referred to by the Empire as progress, they reminisce over how a good old-fashioned flogging is still preferable to them and how they miss it. That said, progress is progress. But in a pinch, reverting to a good old beating or just generally torturing and stabbing someone is just as good for a Terran as any other modern technique. If it ain't broke, don't fix it for the Empire. Then we start to herald, as I said, the era of progress. And for the Terrans, progress quite often meant developing a new weapon or a new bomb or new tactical maneuver. But in purpose of this, it was a new interrogation or enhanced interrogation technique. Basically torture. Where Terran pain technicians or torturers, whatever you want to call them, could apply more sophisticated methods. One of them was a chamber which you could basically be thrown into that could shift pain around your body to different nerve clusters, keeping the body in a constant state of agony, while at the same time these booths could keep you conscious so you, you wouldn't pass out. You would have to endure hours, sometimes longer, of intense pain. This was usually used as a punishment technique, not a form of execution, but for you, usually for more severe crimes, but the Terrans were not against experimenting on non-Terrans to get this technology perfected just for the sake of making sure it works. Nasty bunch of the Terrans. And moving on from that, once you get past the Agonizer booth, you have the sort of portable Agonizer carried usually by senior staff members aboard ships. <clears throat> this was a small device carried on the belt, which when close range only, would be applied to a subordinate officer who had stepped out of line, perhaps needed to be put back into their place, or maybe because the captain was just bored. And they would apply it, and it would apply a huge amount of pain. It was a miniaturized version of the agony booth. And it wasn't constant and would often result in the subject becoming unconscious, but was intensely painful, but didn't leave any permanent physical injury as an incapacitated crew member losing their arm or something because you had beaten the crap out of them or spaced them isn't as efficient as basically teaching them a lesson and making them understand their place and the chain of command. If you want to progress in the Empire, you've got to be ruthless. But that doesn't mean being stupid. And sometimes you need to be put back in your place and reminded, yeah, we appreciate your enthusiasm, but only kill them when I tell you to, yeah? Kind of stuff. And it became one of the most ubiquitous devices carried throughout Starfleet and one of the most feared things the Terrans had which their enemies would encounter. A 24th century version of this was encountered when crossing over which is quite surprising considering the Terran Empire had fallen decades earlier. This version no longer required direct physical contact although it did seem to require some level of proximity but had a similar effect and would induce intense physical pain upon the subject. As stated, the Empire could also implement more basic forms of torture, which again, from beatings you've got, as, a, as Captain Forrest put it, you've got flogging, you've got spacing, you've got simply more basic punishments like reduction of rations, 
the Empire did have a concept of lesser punishment for lesser crimes, but a lot of the time that was really dependent on who your commanding officer was and what species you were. Terrans weren't necessarily likely to hold back because you were a fellow Terran, but if you were not a Terran, you were infinitely more likely to be severely punished for minor offences in a way of perhaps another Terran might be ignored. Of course, all major offences would be treated equally, but there was a streak, a strong streak of racism within the Empire with a human first concept going on there, where Terrans, of course, were considered superior, as Captain Archer demonstrated when he transferred all non-Terran personnel to the ISS Avenger while keeping the rest of them, all the Terrans, aboard the Defiant. This actually wasn't the best idea, as Terrans were quite treacherous, but then again, everyone wasn't in their uniforms. Perhaps if he'd employed um, the Agony Booth a little more, maybe he could have kept his crew in line. But hindsight's twenty twenty, even in the Mirror Universe. Well, that's pretty much it. I mean, the Terrans, they've got their famous, their Agony Booth, their Agonizers. And then again, they're, they're humans, so they had a concept of other things. You got the Rack, all the traditional types of punishment, like, as I say, flogging, general beatings, and etc human being human. We're pretty, we can think up some pretty nasty things. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below. Please check out my other channel, Nerd World Films. There's a playlist on there dedicated to the Star Trek movies I'm currently doing. The next one will be coming out in the next few days, hopefully, uh, on Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home, and... There's a lot of other great videos on there. There's a link in the description below, and bye-bye.